Hi guys, and thank you for tuning in to see this. Uh, it's an unboxing, not necessarily an unboxing because I've already opened it, but I haven't seen any videos out there in regards to this specific watch. So I wanted to go ahead and make one so everybody gets a chance to see it. Um, so basically when you get this watch from Invicta, I actually got this one from Shop HQ because they sell Invicta watches, but you can also get it from uh, InvictaWatchStores.com. Um, they have, uh, you know, very similar prices. I got a really good price on this actually. This was a gift from my wife. So I wanna go ahead and uh, show you guys what it looks like. So when you receive it, it comes in packaging like this with an outer sleeve. Then you get the regular Invicta box. Um, once you open up the black box inside as all Invicta watches, Come, uh, it comes wrapped up in uh, tissue paper and you can see there right away that it says Invicta limited edition um, and when you pull off the paper from the top you can see the beautiful sh uh, blue colored uh, DC Comics uh, logo on the actual box that contains the watch itself so I'm gonna go ahead and take it out of here slide it out Pull it out of here, get rid of the box. And this is the actual case that the watch comes in. If you look at it, it's got that blue line that goes around that complements the blue DC Comics logo on the top. So you guys are not here to see the box, you're here what, to see what's inside. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this off. Uh, like I said, I've already opened this watch. I've already, if you know that all Invicta watches come wrapped up in plastic, I took care of all that. Nobody wants to see that. And uh, so what you get to see now is the latest uh, Joker watch from Invicta. Um, they have several Joker watches out already, um, but this is a new color scheme that they just came up with, and I thought it was pretty awesome. So without further ado, I reveal the Joker watch by Invicta. So it is in a plastic bag. It's not wrapped up in the plastic because like I said, I already took that out of there so here's the case of course it comes with the usual little owner's manual and a cleaning cloth put that to the side here now once you take it out of this little plastic bag mind you in here this plastic bag has a sticker because there's a limited number of 4,000 of these made um, and this just so happens to be number 149 of 4,000 so uh, once you take it out of here you go ahead and get a peek at the watch. It comes with a nice thick pillow to hold it in its place while it's in the box. And there you go, guys. Take a look at that. This is the latest one because in this one, they actually reversed the colors. The first one that they put out was actually a green color band with the purple uh, in the center. This one, what they did was they went with the purple on the outside, purple band with the green center. So I'm sure there's a lot of you out there that have the first one. Um, and this is definitely a nice addition to your collection. I was not able to get the first one because I missed out on that one, but uh, I actually got this one. It's pretty, pretty nice. Um, when you see it on the website, the, the purple looks kind of bright, which is a, somewhat of a turnoff, but let me tell you, when you receive it, you realize it's not such a bright purple. It's a very dark purple color, very like mellow, and it's got like a brushed aluminum look to it. So it's not shiny. Um, I think it's perfect. Uh, to give you some specs on this, uh, this is the uh, Invicta Reserve DC Comics 52 millimeter Venom Joker limited edition Swiss, Swiss quartz watch. Um, it has a Swiss movement, obviously, 52 millimeter case. Okay, and it is 22 millimeters thick. So that's a very thick case. Uh, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go ahead and put it put it on my wrist. I haven't adjusted it. Um, I have to adjust, take some of these links off, um, but give you an idea of what it looks like on my wrist. And there it is. It is very, very, very thick. Um, some people don't like thick watches. I personally think it's awesome. Um, I, I really love, watches large watches so this is, is very very nice so um 
I wanted to mention that it is very heavy. So if you're somebody that doesn't like a heavy watch on your wrist, uh, this may not be for you because it is indeed quite heavy. Uh, just kind of giving you guys as I go along a close up of the casing and all the details on it. Uh, the clasp at the bottom, I like how they did the color combination uh, where they made the purple buckle and the little clasp is green. I mean, they really, really did a great job with the color. Uh, and on the inside, let me open this back up. Hold on a second. On the inside, you get the purple DC Comics logo on the back of the face. There's also uh, a lot of uh, detail on the on the back cover here. Uh, it actually has the number on there, the, uh, the, the actual series number. Uh, in this case, like I said, it was number 149. Uh, if you look closely at it, I, I'm not sure how well that camera can focus, but it actually has it on the inner ring. It actually tells you the actual watch number from the collection, so. Um, Going right along, it's got the Flame Fusion Crystal, like most Invicta watches, which is uh, scratch resistant and it's very strong glass. Um, outside of that, it's got the screw down function on the crown. Okay, so in order to operate it and make adjustments, you have to turn the crown to release it. And it pops out. When you feel it pop out, then you pull it to make adjustments, whether it be for the date or the actual uh, hands on the watch face. Uh, besides that, you have these little knobs here, which you unscrew. And once they're fully unscrewed, you'll be able to operate the chronograph feature on the watch. So I pull them completely out. So if you look at the watch, when I hit the top, when I push the uh, chronograph starts. So you see the uh, small needle here going. Uh, so you stop it, push it again. So you see it stopped in its place, right? If you push the bottom one, it resets everything, brings it back to the 12 position. So uh, that's a really neat little feature. And now since I'm done using it and I don't want to accidentally start it, I will screw these knobs back down. And once they're screwed down, you're not able to push them anymore. Uh, the actual uh, bezel here actually turns. Okay, it only turns in one direction. I love that sound. Something about the uh, watches when they make that sound, I think it's pretty awesome. Um, but uh, yeah, just to finally give you a couple specs on this, this is a stainless steel watch with the uh, stainless steel band. Uh, the band in itself measures 8.75 inches. Um, you definitely will need to adjust it unless you have a very large wrist. Um, it's got a 26, mil 26 millimeter wide band. Uh, it is water resistant to uh, 330 feet. Um, so you can actually go swimming with this. I'm not one to actually want to take my watches into the water. Um, yeah, I just like to keep them in pristine condition. So this one won't be going swimming with me, but know that if you are into, you know, taking your watches diving, this is definitely one that you can wear for that. Um, there is a model number for this watch. It depends on where you're looking for it. If you're shopping for it on the uh, Invicta Stores website, the actual model number for this watch is 35380. And if you are looking for it on the Shop HQ website, it is 693-420. Um, so I'll go ahead and I'll add those details on the description below so you can uh, check it out. I'll probably put some links on there for you. Um, I'm not getting any perks for this, but I wanted to go ahead and make this video to show you guys because no one out there has made a video of this particular color scheme. Like I said, the videos you see out there have the green on the outside. The band itself is green with the purple accents. This is the newest, the newest color. And as I mentioned, only 4,000 made. So um, there is links out there from Facebook and other places that you see that offer this watch for a fraction of the cost, I highly recommend you don't buy this watch from anybody other than Shop HQ or InvictaStores.com. Reason being is they're fakes. Um, you know, save your money, buy the real deal, 
it is worth it. These watches are designed to last a long time. Uh, the suggested retail price on this watch is $899 as per Invicta, but we all know that it never sells for that much. So uh, I encourage you to go check it out on Shop HQ or InvictaStores.com and, you know, maybe pick one up. Thank you for looking at my video. Please be sure to check out my other videos by clicking on my uh, name there, uh, Crusher Reviews. Um, I do have a video uh, for the tripod that I'm actually using at this moment to record this video, and I am recording this with an iPhone 12. So if those of you are interested in a tripod, check out my other videos. Again, thank you for looking. Please hit the thumbs up and subscribe. It'll help me a great deal. Have an awesome day, guys, and happy shopping.